Yep. See the city. It's brick out there, boy. Yeah, I thought Dijon was weak this whole time. This city actually look all right in the city center. We've been seeing the poop part of Dijon. <laughs> Bro, for sure, we've been seeing the poop part. So, if you don't already know, I'm packing. <laughs> for what? Got a long road trip this week here in France. First, we play Dijon in Champions League. And then we have a French French League game that's in Le Portel on a Friday. So we play Wednesday, then we play Friday. So we're gonna be on the road. So I need to pack a little bit more stuff because we have practice. We have we have two games, we have practice, shoot around. So you gotta pack a little bit more. So um, I'm only doing half the packing right now. A lot of my stuff is in my locker. But um, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, so I got a couple shirts. A few pair of pants. I have more pants in my locker. I actually practice in pants, so I probably need to pack maybe at least five or six pair of pants. Then I got a couple kicks. You know, nothing but the new touch the feet. Appreciate you, Adidas basketball. Y'all always looking out for the kid, man. When I tell you, biggest blessing on earth as a basketball player is getting free shoes, free merch. Big blessings. So normally what I like to do is when we go on long trips, sometimes I pack my Norma Tech. I'm kind of conflicted right now if I'm gonna pack my Norma Tech. For those who don't know what a Norma Tech is, it's like a air compression machine that pumps the bad blood out your legs and kind of recovers your legs so your legs quicker than normal. I don't know if I wanna pack that or if I wanna pack my Aquilo, which is like a cryotherapy machine, or if I just wanna thug it out and not pack any of them because if I pack them, that means I have to carry them. And the Aquilo's not light. On second thought, I'm not gonna bring the Aquilo. I'm just gonna thug it out, man. I got this recovery cream that uh that I was gifted by Feel Good. Couple hoodies, because it's pretty cold here in France right now. Here we are. Got everything we need from the crib. Now we gotta go to the gym and finish the rest. What's up, boy? 112 is 112. 112, yeah, yeah. Damn, 112, chill, hey. I heard my guy Wilbur in the morning. It ain't your spot, About to hit the road. And he always look back talking shit. I don't know if you guys remember my teammate, Dre. I haven't vlogged in a while, so it's been a minute. Dre in the back of the mook, his wife. Dre and Dre. How crazy is that? <laughs> and the young boy Wilbur, their son. Okay, I'm going home to make banana muffins. Oh, no deal. Her banana, her banana bread is OD. No, nah, anything she bakes actually is OD. She's a big baker. Good. I like that. Yeah, he look like he about to fall asleep. Look at Wilbur's eyes. That boy eyes getting real low. Time to shut it down, big boy. It's crazy how bad the lighting is here. Like, it's super cloudy. But uh, yeah, now we got practice. We're, uh, damn it, I forgot my key is all in my backpack. <laughs> that handsome son of a gun. Boy bought the Louis Beezy out. Huh? Ooh, that boy got money. <laughs> Package. All right, man. 
see what we working with. What's up, Paul? Man, how did he wrap this thing? I need to go get some scissors. All right, I'm back. Got some Crocs. I really been wanting these jumps. And um, the Salehi Minbury, huh? So I'm like, man, let me let me get a pair of these jumps, man. Let me get a pair. Please let them fit. Woo, perfecto. These jumps is tough, boy. Keezy. All right, so we're here a little bit early for practice. Gonna get a lift in. We, it's uh, 11.50 right now. We got practice at one. Like I said, after practice, we're gonna eat lunch here together as a team, and then we'll get on the bus. I'm gonna take you along for the ride, man. Y'all gonna see what it's like in my day. First blog back, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. I did the road. My boy Sammy over there. Say what up, man. Big, Young boy MK uh, over here. Get his grub on. Hot food. <laughs> Stop lying, nigga. That shit trash. <laughs> Young boy Lucas. <laughs> big Bo, you can't even see him, boy. That boy in the shadows. They were black. That's what they want. That's what they like. Like that's, that dark chocolate. <laughs> Char say chocolate noir. <laughs> Young boy Mike. We got the young boys with us today. Our physio Chris. So yeah, about to get ready to get on the road. We got a three and a half hour road trip. Lighting is terrible in this mug. Hey, there's no charges on this joint. Yeah, this bus weak as hell. They be giving us the weakest buses every time. Um, but yeah. About to get my grub on real quick, man. Got the food. And then about to marinate in the duck sauce, man. Watch some watch some downloaded shit that I downloaded on my um, iPad. I hope this shit fly, man. So hey, I'll check back in with y'all, man. Chunk bud. One of y'all niggas farted. Yeah, somebody did. Let's take the booty ass. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Was that Bo? It might have been Bo ass when you walked by. You farted? See this Luke ass. That's why he's back there quiet. That's why he's back there quiet in the motherfucker. That nigga back there quiet as hell, boy. I'm gonna tell y'all. You know, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, bro. He's like, I don't want to say it's here. Somebody shy, I like to say it's here. It's cold as fuck on this bus, dog. Yeah, Shit. Messed around and 
hole in my pants. Acting dumb. So normally when we come to play in Dijon, we stay in this one little hotel. We in a different hotel this time. You know, I've been playing in this league for three years now, so we played this team a lot. And normally we don't stay in this hotel. This don't actually look all right. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, they do we actually look all right. <laughs> they actually look all right. Probably the best looking hotel we can stay in in yeah, France, next to Nice. It, the one in Nice is actually the best. It's what it is. <laughs> This might be the one for sure, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. In France, majority of the teams you stand like Ebus and shit like that. Ebus is like a fucking Motel 6 equivalent, all right? But this is a nice hotel. Let me take you guys on a tour when I get my shit off. That, first thing first, you got the, we gonna move these beds apart, of course. This is one thing that you would never get used to in Europe. Every hotel you come in, Beds be OD close together like it's not a two-person bedroom. But spacious, man. Got the table, the nice little lights, nice bathroom. Got the backsplash in the shower. Tall shower, you know I'm 6'8. So I had to make it. And hold you. Overall nice. Even got the window into the room. We don't need that, but oh, really with the you. separate commode. They really let you out oh yeah, you'll fall out that mug. You play, you play around. Mm -hmm. See the city. It's brick out there, boy. Yeah, I thought Dijon was weak this whole time. This city actually look alright in the city center. We've been seeing the poop part of Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, for sure, we've been seeing the poop part. Well, now, uh, I figure we have lunch in probably 30 minutes. Dinner, yeah. Dinner, dinner. I mean, not lunch. Dinner in 30. Dinner in 30 minutes. It's 7.30 right now. We got dinner at 8. So now we just uh, relax for a little bit, get situated, chill out. Hopefully, the man, this food is hidden because I never really liked the food at the other place either, though. No, they said it was good. I don't really truly. That shit was truly, trash. Honestly, I don't fully remember. I just know we always get that weak ass chicken. And I just always take yeah, the salmon chicken. and just hope there's rice so I chicken. can put the bolognese yeah. on top of the rice. The chicken be so unseasoned. Dry. That's, that's one thing about France. I say it a lot. Let me focus up here. There we go. I say it a lot. Food in France is, is, is trash. Okay. Um, it's rare that you go to a place like a home hotel. Like, well, us at least, basketball-wise. Basketball probably like the five-star hotels probably got some good food. But yeah. in terms of basketball traveling, the, t the hotels we stand the food more times than not is trash. That's why normally I, I, hit, I hop on Uber Eats and see what's going on around the city because it'd be so trash. But hopefully tonight I can save some money. We're going to see. I have to get ready to head down to dinner with these ugly little dudes. This is what we do. Basketball 24 7. So let's see what the spread is talking about. Parmigiano. Here to the rest of the stuff. He was only playing like two, ten, eight minutes a game. You know, yeah. 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 
We try to show you the way you go. Yeah, we try to show you the way you go. Who is the white pranger from the Victoria? You know? From where? You know? You know? You know? Also, well, if you don't call him Estonia, though, nobody called him Victoria. So, 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 <laughs> you know, I don't know, when he said Victoria, who the fuck are you talking about? I was like, I don't know who Victoria is. Because <laughs> nobody we all call him Estonia. I've never heard Victoria. Only Spanish people call him. Those are your league players. Only Spanish people. You know the real name. Only Spanish people call him Estonia. Like, long time ago. Oh, come on, bang, bang. Get it to him. This guy, this guy, get buddy out. Damn, yeah, good steal, good D. They had to get Buddy out of there. Mm -hmm. My wife pointed out, he was asking about, like, nigga, this nigga Matt Howard. Come over twice, he's going to pass the ball. Then he got to settle for this shit and get his ass ripped. He opened twice, and you sitting there bullshitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get the nigga the ball. You said, I don't know what he did to him. I heard dribbling the motherfucking air off the ball, ain't he? Oh, do that? that nigga just dribbled the whole 24 seconds out the shot clock and then throw the clip at the shot, they threw it at the shot clock. The problem for Milan is Sheven Chill. Yeah, Sheven Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this guy is so, so good, man. Oh, yeah. He's, he's so good, bro. But, he's like a homo, bro. He's good. <laughs> but, you never know. You never know. Dinner's over. On my way back to the room. Relax, talk to the fam a little bit. Let me watch a movie. Get ready for bed. <sighs> so yeah, man. That's a travel day. A lot of bus <laughs> and a lot of hotel but the dope thing about it is you know when you're traveling like this and you're close with your teammates you build a little bit of camaraderie you get to kick it my bro over here playing the game right now but these are the days where you build camaraderie with your teammates man you get to know one another when y'all sitting on the bus for X amount of hours talking shit, watching shit. It's life, man. <laughs>